Hey friends, Tony Bobcicalupo here. A few things that came up in the weekly Q&A that we do with the members of New Work Cities. I wanted to share with you three topics in particular. First off, fall recruiting. So we are getting into September, which is one of the two best times of year to recruit new members. People are coming back from vacation, the kids are back in school, people are starting new jobs, people are moving. So it's a time when people are getting back to business and a lot of people are looking to join a co-working space. So what you wanna do is you wanna stand out, you wanna offer something that's a little bit different than just offering space. And so it's a great time to offer some kind of a invitation. I'm big on invitations, we wanna shift people out of thinking of it just office rental. So if you're giving people something that they can come to, that's gonna give them something that's a little bit more special than a typical space tour. So it's a great time to create an invitation for second week of September, send it out to your uh, newsletter of non-members, especially people who have come in for a tour in the past, and uh, I recommend some kind of a goal setting for the fall kind of a program. So, um, and I've got some more resources for that for people who are members of the group, if you're interested in being a member, uh, of course, check out nwc.co check out uh, the resources we have there or shoot me an email, tony at nwc.co. Uh, also, we talked about members helping keep the place clean. One of the things that can happen when you've been running a space for a while is that you can build up resentment for the fact that you are picking up after members, cleaning up the space constantly, and a lot of times you can get frustrated when you've cleaned up the place and then the next day it's a mess again and uh, you don't want that energy to seep into the way that you interact with the current members, with prospective members. Resentment is really bad for business. So we talked about creative ways to have more positive approaches to handling the fact that you have to kind of deal with this dynamic in your space, including ways to kind of encourage members in a positive way, to celebrate them, to uh, celebrate them helping you out. Uh, helping keep the space clean. So we've got um, an approach that I wrote a whole little ebook around called No More Sink Full of Mugs. So you can check out that book. And then there's some printable templates as well that's included with the book and with membership uh, that uh, are kind of printable things that you can put up in your space to help out. Super, super effective. Uh, one of the things that I was most proud of from when I ran the space. And then the final thing is uh, this topic that I try not to talk about too much, but everyone else wants to talk about, which is WeWork. And with their um, IPO filing coming up soon, it's a thing that's in the news. It's a thing that we all get asked about when we're in the co-working business. We tell people we run a co-working space. And so what I realized is that as much as I don't want to talk about them, lots of other people want to talk about them. So it's probably worth it for us to do a dive into what WeWork is, why they're good, why they're not so good, where they're going and how we position ourselves in this world in relation to them since they're big enough that we can't kind of avoid the fact that they're around. So I'm working on a new product. It'll be a premium product. And I would love to get your thoughts about the questions that you would want answered in a product like that. So I've created a survey, which you can find a link to in the description and would love to get your thoughts on that if that's something that you'd be interested in. So hope this was helpful to you. Again, check out all the stuff that we have to offer at nwc.co and I'll check back with you again sometime later. Keep being awesome. Bye.